Good morning and welcome to Berlin. Uh, didn't get here until late last night, so unfortunately I didn't really get to see much of the city as I, uh, as I skated through. Got quite a bit planned for whilst I'm here. There seems to be a lot of stuff to do and see. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get on with it really. I'm gonna go find somewhere to eat first, eat, eat some breakfast, because they don't supply it at the hostel unless you pay for it. So I'm gonna go and try and find somewhere that does a proper German breakfast, if not, just grab anything. And then I need to go and do a quick bit of shopping. A few things I've got to pick up. And then, yeah, off to go and see the uh, monuments and everything else. Good job I've got the penny board, because apparently this place is massive. Let's go and find out. I am now currently, I think, just on the edge of West Berlin and it feels very different to like where the hostel is. Uh, th this is a lot more like metropolitan, a lot more like um, modern, big glass buildings, lots of like posh shops. Um, so I'm going to keep heading west to try and find one, somewhere to eat and then two, the museums and bits and pieces that I want to see today. Well, after that amazing like French breakfast that I've just had in a little cafe in the middle of uh, the middle of like the centre, uh, I've made it to the Jew Murder Memorial. Um, this place is crazy. There's like 2,711 2, concrete blocks to represent all the Jews that were murdered during the war. I'm gonna have a walk around here. Apparently, underneath here. There's like an information center all about it, so I'm going to try and find the entrance to that and go down and have a walk around there as well. But this is like, it's a bit like the war graves in Bruges, apart from a lot more, I suppose, industrial. Um, and obviously they're not actual headstones, they're just like a memorial. But it's done amazingly well. And you can get quite easily lost. Some of these are fairly tall, I mean I'm six foot three and some of them or above my head. I managed to find the, en find the entrance to the downstairs bit, but I don't think I'll be going in at the moment because it's about a two hour wait. So I'm gonna head into the park probably, have a skate round there, and then hopefully come back in a bit and the queue be, queue be a lot smaller. Just on my way to the park, just come past the Brandon Gate Bridge, so having a look around here. And then just over here, the Hotel Adelon. It's the most expensive hotel to stay in in Berlin and it's famous for being the hotel where Michael Jackson dangled the baby out the window. This is another one of the many memorials throughout the city. This memorial is actually for all the people that died in extermination camps throughout the Nazi regime. It's a really nice little tranquil place, just literally just from the Brandon, uh, Brandon uh, Br uh, Gate, sorry. This is a pretty spectacular memorial. This is to all the Soviet soldiers that died during the war. Um, it's got like little gardens and everything. Um, so I'm just gonna take a walk around. It's absolutely incredible. Although I don't understand what it says on the, uh, on the, on the actual walls itself, it still looks phenomenal. Well, just reading about that um, that memorial, uh, the Soviets now, now no longer own this ground and it's now been taken over by the German council as such. And up until the point that they took over, 
the Soviets actually kept a, a guard here every day to guard the memorial, which I think is pretty cool. It's just incredible, like the history of this place and like how 90% of it was absolutely flattened and they've built it all back up again since. This behind me is Victory Column. It was actually one of the first monuments to be built after the war and when the, the new German state was, was introduced. Um, originally it was actually built somewhere else and then they brought it here adding an extra one of those columns on which is like 6.7 meters bring it to a total of like 67 meters tall and it was basically built to compete with things like the Nelson column in London it is absolutely massive and it looks amazing especially with the golden statue on top this penny board is saving so much time I know I've said about it before but just getting up to up to the uh, victory column and back down now it's probably say less than half the time after all that skating i'm absolutely knackered so i've just come into the berlin mall which is huge and uh gonna try and find somewhere to have a tea or a coffee and just uh, relax for a bit so I'm pooped. i've done pretty much all of western berlin today so i'm pretty happy with that all the memorials and stuff so I just have to make a plan for the next couple of days Oh my god, that is so good. I've been wanting a milkshake for about a week. I couldn't find anywhere that sells a decent one. Not bad for you to drink it on either. This place is epic. Quickest way to get rid down in this town. Straight down the slide. Well, there's definitely one thing useful if you ever say the city stay hostel. If you ever need to find it, find that massive building and it's literally just down from it. So I'm back now, fairly early to be fair, but I'm knackered from the amount of uh, traveling I've done. So I think I'm just gonna chill out, grab a coffee, or even maybe a beer, do a bit of video editing, just meet some people, get chatting. That's what it's all about, meeting people, learning people's stories and sharing experiences and places to go, which is awesome, I love it. That's one of the best things about staying in hostels. basically spent the afternoon drinking with a couple of locals and some lads from Malta which was pretty cool listening to their story why they're here and everything um, really super interesting they actually recommended uh, a pizzeria so just been up to the pizzeria had a pretty nice pizza actually not too bad apart from them forget my order so it took like 45 minutes to get a pizza um, <coughs> but yeah it was worth it beer was pretty cheap as well so just going to take a walk back to the hostel now so hope you have enjoyed today's video uh, don't forget please feel free to like subscribe leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the morning